I put together a makeup bag for under $50 to give the old pocketbook a rest and you can use the maybe the extra money you would spend on makeup to going towards you know a vacation or a weekend getaway or an event like a concert or just something you want to do this summer um, and these products are tried tested and true I've used all of them they really do work and so I just wanted to share with you um, my makeup bag for under $50. So keep watching if you want to see what products are inside my makeup bag. So the first product that's in my makeup bag is a foundation. I wanted to find a foundation that would hold up against the heat, that would give good coverage, but wouldn't feel like you were wearing a mask of foundation because there's nothing worse than in the summer months feeling like you have this cake caked on layer of foundation that's heavy and uncomfortable and I think I did a really good job of finding a foundation that would do all of those things and I'm talking about the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Foundation this has SPF 18 in it so it offers that SPF protection but not just that this foundation is so great it gives amazing coverage it has an easy application process so you just use the so you twist it up and then apply the foundation where you want it and then blend it in with um, your foundation brush or your beauty blender or your fingertips clean fingertips um, and yeah you're good to go it feels like a serum on the skin and that's why I like it because it feels very luxurious very lightweight very nourishing I have dry skin and this foundation every time I use it just makes my skin feel a little bit nourished um, and keeps it hydrated it doesn't cake up on the skin um, so it's just a really great foundation Foundation, and I think this is the foundation for the summer for sure. The next product is a concealer. Um, I really wanted to find a good concealer that was going to provide good coverage, um, that was going to brighten the under eye exceptionally well, because in the summer you want that bright eyed, fresh look. And so I did go with the Instant Age Rewind Concealer as well. This concealer is fantastic. Um, I know that it's won all kinds of awards, um, and, and so it should. It's a really great concealer. It really does a good job of hiding the under eye circles and really brightening up the under eye. I have a blog on concealers and um, I talk about this one. So I'll link the blog down below if you want to have a look at the before and after pics of this concealer. <laughs> Next product is a setting powder. So you don't have to set your foundation, but if you did want to set your foundation, um, I wanted to find a really good powder that was inexpensive, that was going to do what it's supposed to do and hold up through the summer heat. Um, so I went with the NYC Smooth Skin Pressed Face Powder. For some reason, NYC does an amazing job of their powders. Um, they're really finely milled, they're silky smooth, they blend into the skin really beautifully, um, and they stay put. So I give props to NYC for their powders, but the NYC powder looks like this. This is the translucent powder, so um, I just thought that this would be a good powder to pick up. <laughs> next product that I chose for the makeup bag is a bronzer. You want to find something that's going to blend into the skin really well. It's going to stay put all day. It's going to give you that sun-kissed glow um, and that it's not too orange or too glittery or you know there's just a lot of things that go into finding a really great bronzer so again I went with the NYC um, bronzing face powder this is in sunny and I've talked about this so much I've been using this bronzer like crazy it's the perfect matte bronzer not orange it buffs into the skin beautifully and it's really inexpensive and it holds up all day long. I love, love, love NYC's powders. I can't say enough about them. 
So the next product that I want to talk about is blush. Um, finding a good blush that's going to hold up all day, that's really beautifully pigmented, and that's inexpensive, only leaves me with one option. I had to throw this in the makeup bag, and this is the Wet n Wild Color Icon Blusher. This one's in pearlescent pink, and this blush is gorgeous. Um, it's just the, this beautiful um, peachy pink color. It looks good on any skin tone, and it is pigmented like crazy. The next product that I want to talk about, and I for, for the eyes, I really kind of went back and forth on this one, finding something that was inexpensive, that worked really well, had great pigmentation, and that was really versatile. Um, I came up with two different eye products. The first one is the Revlon Smoky Shadow Stick and Torch. And the reason I chose this product is for a slew of reasons. First of all, it is a really pigmented product. It stays put all day it doesn't crease it doesn't smudge um, and it really holds up beautifully against the heat i also chose it because if you're looking for something to use as an eyeshadow base you will want to use the um, sort of fleshy peachy toned end of this stick um, I use this as an eyeshadow base all the time. I just run it all over my eye, kind of pat it in with my finger, and voila, you have an eyeshadow base. And then the other end is this beautiful brown color. You can wipe this all over your lid, pat it in with your finger, um, smudge it underneath the eye a little bit, and you're good to go. You have this beautiful smoky chocolate brown eye. Also like using this as an eyeliner so you can just you know follow along your lash line and then smudge it in a bit and you have a beautiful eyeliner. So it's a really versatile product. The next product for the eyes is the Wet n Wild Color Icon Eyeshadows. There is a million different palettes of these. Um, they come in the three palettes or the six palettes. Six? Eight. Eight. The eight. Um, but, and you have to forgive me, this one is a mess because I use it all the time. But this is the Walking on Eggshells. And so it comes with this beautiful highlight color, um, a bronzy brown color, and then this sort of pinky champagne color. This is like the perfect trio for the summer months. Um, you can do all kinds of highlighting with this top color. It's really, really pigmented. The only downfall about this product is that it is a bit soft and um, crumbly, so you will have some fall down, but I mean for the price and the pigmentation, and it lasts all day long. Even using the smoky shadow stick as your eye base, this these shadows last all day. So I just thought this would be a good thing to throw in the summer makeup bag. Next eye product is a mascara because we have to have mascara. Now, I've talked about this before. I am not a fan of um, waterproof mascaras. I don't like the formulas. I haven't come across a waterproof mascara yet that I love and that I would be willing to use. I just really find them um, tacky and I find a lot of times they dry out a lot faster um, on the lashes than a non-waterproof. And then what happens is you've got you know crumbly mascara sitting on your cheekbones which is not pretty so um I always opt for a non-waterproof and I chose the L'Oreal Voluminous Power Collagen Mascara this mascara is amazing really thickening really volumizing um, it has a really um, beautiful brush it is a bit of a bigger brush which can be tricky to kind of get used to but um, the bristles on the brush are like really really soft which creates this beautiful um, sort of smoky natural lash i think l'oreal competes really well and holds up really well to some of the higher end mascaras so um that's why i chose this one the 
last product is a lip product. Um, I was, I don't, like, I didn't know where to start for this one because there's so many amazing drugstore lip products out there right now. And I was like, do I go with a lipstick? Do I go with a lip gloss? I just didn't know. And then I finally decided on this lip product because um, it just comes in so many different colors. Um, it applies beautifully. It's not tacky or sticky on the lips. Um, it lasts a really long time. Um, and this is the um, NYX Mega Shine lip gloss salsa and I chose salsa because it's just the perfect pink um, lip gloss that'll go with like a smoky eye or a basic eye or if you just want to like put mascara on and some lip gloss it really um, adds a certain something I'll just swatch it on the back of my hand I've talked about this product like so many times before but it's just this beautiful um, pink color and it really would look good on any skin tone and um, inexpensive and just a really great product. Well, that's it for my Summer Essentials um, makeup bag. All of this stuff came in under $50. They're all really great products. And um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, um, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and leave me comments down below requesting different summertime themed videos you'd like to see and yeah that's it so i'll see you next time bye bye